I'm going to talk about three main types of polysaccharides that you guys should know. So polysaccharides are just hundreds of thousands of monosaccharides coming together. The first type I'm going to talk about is glycogen. So it just stores chemical energy in uh, animals, which is usually stored in the liver or muscles. And it usually just kind of hangs out there until our cell needs energy, and then it will be used as an energy source. Then we have starch. So this is chemical energy in plants. It can come in two different forms, amylopectin, which is a branched form, so all of these glucose molecules, all three of these are just long chains of glucose molecules. Um, so all of these glucose molecules are just in a branched form, and then you have amylose, which is in a ringed alpha helices shaped uh, uh, conformation. And then for cellulose, it is a structural polysaccharide, so it's used in cell walls, cotton, linen, bark, so it's very rigid, it's very, um, it, it doesn't break down easily. And another thing that's interesting about it is that we can't digest it. So what is the difference between cellulose and say starch? Because they both come from plants, but we can easily digest starch with a protein that is called amylase. So this is an enzyme that we're able to, it's able to break down these bonds in the starch and gives us the ability to digest it and store it in the form of uh, glycogen for our body to use as energy. But how come we can't do the same thing with cellulose? Well, cellulose comes in a form, it's called beta, uh, beta glucose. So if we just draw it out here and we'll do it in red. So a beta glucose would look something like this. So you'd have your... Hold on a second. You have these glucose molecules. So, in a beta uh, glucose uh, linkage, you would have your hydroxyl groups pointing down, and then you'd have one pointing up like this. So it is in a opposite conformation and these molecules will all be connected. So that is the only difference. So if we look now at a alpha, it's called, so we label this as beta. And then we'll do one for alpha. And if we look here, it'd be the same thing. Right here. But every single hydroxyl group would be pointing down in the same direction. So this gives the ability for amylase to break it down and digest. We can digest each individual glucose molecule and use it later for energy, as you'll see when we're using glucose for energy in the uh, citric acid cycle when we're creating ATP. So cellulose, we can't, we can't digest it. So things like grass, we can't eat grass, we can't eat uh, bark, obviously, but things like well, how come a cow can eat grass and how come a cow can digest the grass? Well, the cow actually doesn't digest the grass. He has little bacteria and um, a little bacteria that can inside its stomach and intestines that will digest the grass for it. So it'll break down these these beta glucose molecules and give it the ability to digest these individual uh, glucose molecules and use it for energy.